gaggle of Aquascape geniuses here today. We got Aaron, and then we've got my friend John Adams up, and bro? his children, his Happy. youth, his offspring. Yeah. There's uh, Tristan and Nick. And today we are doing something that he promised he was gonna do. He's a man of his word. We're gonna make a stream that flows into the original Aquascape ecosystem. So I'm really excited, man. <laughs> I would love to build this because I want the tortoises, the radiata. There they are, they're hiding out in here. I'll just grab that for a second. I'm gonna lift, everyone loves to see animals. They're hiding out because it's a little cool. So they're inside right now, but we are out here and uh, we're gonna make a really cool um, habitat. All right, let's see, let's just, let's eyeball it up, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so the water is Here's basically water. gonna start here. We're gonna divert some water from an existing pump, right? Tee it off. Yep. It's gonna come through here and it's gonna start and then pour out, whoop de doo. <coughs> uh, and then we got that. I kind of like the idea of these little guys waking up in the morning and maybe wading through <coughs> a nice, cool, crisp stream and they put their little beak to the stream and they drink from the good well, here. We need like chimes or something. Yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> what are we talking about? A stream. <laughs> stream. Yes, which I'll be living in soon. So uh, anyway, we're gonna have a nice stream. I think that's cool, bro. I think All that's right. good. We're what good. Do you think? Here's the reason I like this here, uh, because I wasn't savvy enough to put a pitch on the roof, because I was using this one. So if I bring this thing anywhere else, I have to change the design of the roof. <laughs> and you guys know my carpentry skills suck. So uh, yeah, I don't want to do that. Let's so let me dig a little into your brain here. If we lift okay. this up a little bit, yeah, maybe do like a ring of stone so it's kind of elevated. Love it. Water pitches out of this side, so there's a little falls over here the tortoises can look out yep. in the evening and Get see the water fall going. Get inspired the next day eating falls. grass. Yep. Yes. Uh huh. We'll do some bigger stones along the edges, maybe a little cobbler, kind of beachy where it's easy for them to walk across. Love it. And uh, then a few, we, we got some lights left over from your big project with Aquascapes. We'll get those guys in here in the moving water because it'll be a little turbulent on top. Nice. And that'll do like some cool flickering firelight effect on the side of your house out here. Wow, you're really bringing out that artist of the year uh, oh, thing there. Oh, thank this you guy. for dropping that bomb. There Damn. you go. Well, listen, the Modern Design Aquascapes, I want to give these guys a shout out. We became really good pals. Uh, but if you live in Tennessee and uh, you want to you want yourself a cool turtle pond or some kind of uh, water feature, this is the guy to talk to. Uh, where in Tennessee are you out of? We're just outside of Knoxville. There you go. All right, very good. Well, anyway, we're gonna get to work right now. I like it. So time-lapse begins now. All right, so these guys are getting the plumbing ready, and um, I actually have a question for you, John. So we're tapping into the uh, waterfall, okay? Uh -huh. That pump. Yep. So that's 8,000 gallons per hour. <clears throat> yep. So uh, you're actually going to reduce this uh, to a smaller diameter pipe. We're going from what, an inch and a half? This is an inch, inch and a half. Yep. Okay. So my question is this. If I plant enough aquatic plants and stuff, yeah. could this become a biofiltration as well? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, and we've got a 10 foot wide liner and with the where you're gonna have the tortoises going through, we'll definitely leave it wide. It's gonna look like we don't have enough water flow in the beginning. So that's what you're gonna see is it's gonna look like we made it too wide for the amount of water that we have. You're gonna think we overbuilt it, but it's really gonna be about once you put your aquatics in along the edges and it's gonna choke down the available space for the water flow. Okay. And that's gonna, that's gonna build up the speed a little bit, but you're not going for a, a flowing stream here. No. We're going for almost a still water look. So you got the, the small, we might have to cut out that opening a little bit in yep. that spillway bowl, but you're going for a small amount of water. You're going for very gentle. It'd be a great, if, if anything, it'll become a sediment trap in here. So it'll desedimentate the water that comes through very because cool. it'll fall out into this pooling area and it'll slow way down and all of that particulate matter is going to drop out into this stream right here. Oh, very cool. Yeah, because that, that was just a little bit of a concern. Like, oh, if we don't have the same amount of flow going through the biofalls, yep. but we're still going to filter this water because it's going to be a slow moving stream. Very I cool. I don't think you'll have any problem. And you could truthfully, you could put a third of that much water through your biofalls okay. and it would still filter as efficiently. All right, very I mean, good. You're, you're not going to slow it down to a, to a point that you're going to feel diminished. And you're also gonna, if you're 8,000 gallons over there, 
we're probably gonna steal 750 to 1,000 gallons. That's awesome. all we're gonna take out over here. Very cool. Awesome, man, learning as we're going. I cannot wait to plant this out. Can't wait to show you guys the finished product. How is that for a fake shovel? Let me get you a man shovel. There you go. <laughs> All right, anyway, we're gonna, we're just basically replacing the uh, soil and uh, we got the plumbing all set up. So as you can see, the bottle falls are moving again, which is nice because you know, John came here and he screwed up my whole pond. I did, I did. I, and I'm, I am not a self defender, but yeah. Somebody could have told me there was a bottom drain in the bio hole. I know, that was my I'm fault. Just saying, I, yeah, yeah. The trained professional probably would have asked, though, before he drained all the... No, you did good. Before I drained this fish septic line into your pond, I probably should have asked you if there was a septic drain. It's all good. That's so, uh, we're moving, man. We got this, basically, the bones uh, being done right now. So, once the plumbing's in, now, as you can see, Tristan is diligently working on trying to get this... Uh, cleaned and straightened so that you can make a nice uh, contact with the liners, right? Because mm -hmm. what we're going to do is that's going to lay over, correct? The new liner will lay over this? Yep, it'll be seen right on top of that. All right, very cool. About. See, things are coming together. Things get broke. They get put back together. No big deal. <laughs> this is life. Uh, the good news is that in a few hours, these tortoises are going to have a brand new front yard to play in. Can't wait to show them. Uh, if tortoises could manifest smiles uh i'm sure they will Hi, I'm, smiling. I'm, working too, I'm, I'm not working fast no, i didn't want to inter i didn't want to interrupt your video you're doing important things over oh yeah so important i don't know how i pulled the wool over these guys eyes all right so you're prepping the liner here tristan yes sir tristan come on you know that movie yeah. One of my Legend favorites, of actually. Legend of the Fall, dude. Yep, that, uh, it's one of the best ways for a man to meet the end of his life. Right? Get a real life grizzly bear hug. Go watch that movie. It's an old one, but it's a good one, and uh, it'll tug at the heartstrings. It's really about brothers and yeah. about, you know, oh, I'm sorry, I'm going on about old Brad Pitt movies. Yeah, I used right. to look like Brad Pitt. <laughs> no, I didn't. Anyway, um, here we are, and we're hanging out. Tristan is doing a great job. Tristan, uh, how much do you charge uh, to do this? Like, if a customer wanted you to to get this done, what's this all about? Hundred bucks a foot. Hundred dollars a foot. Hundred bucks a foot for a hundred percent sure seam, waterproof. Yep. Okay. Or stone certified. There you go. All right. So what do we got to do, mate? We got to, you know, this this one's ready. Yep. This one is pretty ready. I got to get some of the dust off. Step one, we prime this guy. Okay. We do a, a layer of double-sided seam tape and primer, so the double-sided seam tape sticky on both sides. Then this guy folds over, sticks to that. After we're done with the double-sided, we come back with a six-inch cover tape that goes on top, on reprime top. it again, second layer of defense. Okay. They say you only really have to do one, but we do both just to make sure. That makes sense. Love it. 100% waterproof. Thank you, buddy. Yeah. So what's great about this process is it shows you the modular nature of these Aquascape ecosystem ponds. This was the very first pond that I got and I knew I wanted to add a stream to it. All you gotta do is have the right crew on hand or the right patience because believe me, this is definitely a painstaking process. It goes slow, but once you're done, you're able to add to your existing water feature, which is incredible. And remember guys, this whole project is only taking us one day. And to be perfectly honest, this is the most crucial part. It's basically what's going to create the stream junction into the old Aquascape pond. And I can't wait to see what this thing looks like in the end. So as you can see, there's the double-sided tape going on. They get it sealed down, a little bit of a roll. They've got themselves a piece of plywood underneath just as a firm backing so they can really get it to stick together. And then they take the seam tape and put that over the top. Now it's time to dig. Okay, you know, hopefully we'll uh, catch up with all you guys again at some point. And, uh, oh, sorry. Okay, so uh, we're standing in for Kenan. He's on a very important phone call. I noticed that the timing, as soon as we started digging, there was a super important phone call. Kenan, where are you? We need you, man. We miss you. 
So we're, we're just getting everything laid out. We dug it out extra wide. We're, we just have a little bit of water in here. This is a very subtle, slow moving stream, but we got it out wide so we can add a lot of curvature. We're gonna leave some room for some aquatic plants. There's gonna be pockets in here. So it's really bigger than it needs to be. But these guys are putting down the underlayment. This is a protective barrier. It's a seven ounce geotextile fabric that goes underneath. That's what protects our liner and makes it last a long time from the underneath stuff. And uh, then our 45 mil EPDM is going down on top of this. And it's about time for lunch. So uh, I'm out guys. Oh man, this thing's coming together, guys. Right now, Tristan is working on a really cool feature because now that the tortoises have a waterfront property, we have to remember they need to get through the water to come on out here. And uh, you've made these really cool steps with this uh, cool Texas limestone that I got from my friends at Yard Coast Stone Company. And uh, man, this is really gonna be amazing. We're almost done, guys. And what I like about this is that the fact that the tortoises do have a choice, they can actually bang a right out of their enclosure, out of their house, and they can take the long way, the scenic route, or they're gonna walk straight on out in through the water, get a drink of water. This forces them to interact with the water. Um, Anytime they see agitation from the patio bowl, we got a nice notch. Uh, Aaron cut me out a nice notch there and uh, it's gonna cascade out onto the rocks and in the water. That agitation is gonna really cause the turtles, uh, it's gonna drive their attention to the water and they're gonna actually, let me put this toothpick away. Some of y'all don't like when to talk with a toothpick in my mouth, it's rude. Anyway, I uh, figure that that agitation, you guys all right? That agitation <laughs> will, uh, will cause them interest in the water and then they can walk on up and out. We'll get some plants here, some more big fountainy grasses. Oh man, this is just, Ah, who would have thought a year or so ago, maybe two years now when my first aquascape pond went in, that I would be so fortunate to know such handsome bald men like this man right here. <laughs> Thank you so much. I speak from experience, pal. I got a little bit more than you, but your oh. wisdom truly trumps my own. Oh, goodness. Yeah, ball bell. It's all you, boss. This is it. This is the moment we've been waiting for. It could be really good or it could be bad. It was really bad. It's his fault. This just guy's being subtle just, now. No, Don't think Niagara. Could. All right, we're, now we're going to switch to that waterfall. When we, he turns the ball valve, then go to that waterfall. <laughs> no, <laughs> oh, I think we got a defective ball valve. I'm just kidding. Oh, Hold on. did he glue it closed? No, it's nope, but I hear something. We're opening up. Oh, look at this gurgle. Look at that gurgle. Here, Rock, coming out of it because I dropped it in there. Look at this. Okay, so I mean, you guys all know what the aquascape uh, system is all about. Right now, it is bare bones, okay? You can almost say it's anemic until we get all that foliage up. So, that's what I'm going to be doing in the next few weeks. I'm going to be planting next couple of days, uh, manicuring this, and then as we get water and rain, uh, things are just going to really come to life out here. Uh, but here it is, man. We're getting closer to the, the edge of this bowl and it's going to pour right over and I cannot wait until these tortoises see what we did in just this short amount of time. Yes. Give us the spill. Yes. Oh my uh -oh. God. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. What's the matter? Uh -oh. what, what are you nervous about? Oh my gosh. Oh God. Go the way. wrong way. It's all coming this way. No, oh, no. No, this is good, man. Now I have a new place to kind of hang out and listen to uh, the sounds of water and just imagine this, okay? There'll be a bunch of turtles in here, the tortoises will be drinking, plants growing out of the patio bowl, big fountain grasses obscuring some of the rock. Don't forget, I want you to go check out John Adams' YouTube channel, Modern Design Aquascaping, Blue Lotus Waterscapes. Check them out also. If you're living in Tennessee and you want a beautiful feature from a great family, definitely give John Adams a call. And likewise, if you live in South Florida and you're looking for a really beautiful uh, water feature, talk to Aaron.
Hey, you guys still here? Listen, I couldn't end the video without showing you guys the tortoises interacting with the new stream. And uh, I wanted you guys to see it all finished the next day. And I got up super early and I did a bunch of work. So check out what I did before we leave. We got some mulch down. I planted some more grasses on this side. These guys will all mature real soon. The stream's cleaning up here. We still got a little time because I had to spray it all down with water. So I mucked up the main pond again, but I'm just loving the way this thing has turned out. Plants over here, we added gravel, a bunch of gravel to it just to make it look a, just a bunch nicer, you know? More plants here. I put a, some beautiful uh, canna Cleopatra lilies in the bowl here. So those guys will take off and they have a beautiful flowers. And man, it's gonna be awesome. Some elephant ears behind it, more grasses. Just did a lot of work and you're about to watch the first tortoises come out for the day. All right guys, so that's it. Just wanted to show you the animals. So enjoy the animals in these next few moments and I'll see you guys again real soon. Hope you enjoyed the video everybody. Later.